What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, I see the God King, checking in again. It's been a while since I did a video, but I got a new project. You know, my videos, we all over the place. Uh, but this one is, uh, I did an extended patio, covered patio over the summer. Uh, so you can see, like, it's screened in. You can see, we one with nature. We got a stack stone fireplace, TV, sound bar ceiling fan, four can lights, but it's, all, it's November, so then it got cold when I, I couldn't come out here no more. But then I did some research. I was looking to doing a propane gas tank, and uh, you know that fireplace is uh, pro, uh, gas too, but <clears throat> unless you send up right up on it, you're not gonna feel the heat. But I didn't want to lose my space my comfortability and come out here and I still want to be able to enjoy myself. So I did some research. I was trying to look into several options of how I can enjoy this space in colder climates. Uh, and then I came across these electric heaters and I saw those two companies. One is uh, Infratech and then the other one was Bromic. <clears throat> I'm short for time because I'm hosting Thanksgiving this year and I needed a turnaround in like four or five days. I did a research and said Infotech is the better option out of Bromit, but it was like by a little bit, uh, not like a big margin. Uh, so then, but Infotech, the only problem was Infotech said it's gonna take three weeks for them to ship it to me, that's no bueno. So I called around, I, I found the supplier they had, the, Bro, the Bromit, electric heaters uh, available within the next day. So I went with that and I did the 4,000 watts, 4,000 Michael watts. I saw them boys in Texas, but anyway, so I ordered two of them and, and here we go. So, you know, stick around. I'm going to, I got my electricians here. They working on it. And uh, we're going to see how this whole process goes and hopefully everything comes out great and then I can enjoy this patio within the, the colder months and uh, and everybody can come out and just have a good time on the patio all right let's see all right so we got the two installed um, yesterday was my birthday and we had like a small get-together and it was a good time to test the uh, the, the heaters you know so we uh basically they did good you know when it was like the sun was still out and it was probably like a good 50 degrees but then as soon as that sun dropped man and if you wasn't sitting right up underneath here like you weren't gonna be comfortable you know so with that being said it was like all right i see what i gotta do now i gotta get one right there and then one over there in that corner right there. So, you know, you can feel the heat, um, you know, standing from here, but just because you feel it don't mean that you're like warm and snuggly. So uh, I definitely on the phone and uh, called the supplier and I ordered three more. And <clears throat> don't make the mistake I did, which was try to be conservative but also try to make it a comfortable space. Uh, so we ordered three more and we're gonna install those next. So we'll, I'll show you that in a second once that gets done. How much you grabbing? Probably three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what you need. Yeah. All right, I'm not at home, but I just wanted to finish this video because we finally got it right. I had to call the electrician back to do the uh at the two additional heaters and it ended up once i did all the numbers the whole process ended up costing me shy of like ten thousand nine thousand dollars to to them to do it so i would definitely if you're building a deck and you have the knowledge you want to use this these electric heaters then I would go set go ahead and have it set up then because I could have caught it at that point 
perfect. But now that I'm doing it after the fact, that's making everything a lot difficult for me. And then the fact that I got two, and then I had to have the electrician come back, that made it that made it a, a, a costly mistake. So, uh, but here we go.